Hello everyone, I'm Endymion for the Dork at Arms Etc. Just gotta make sure the mic is on. Uh, and today I've got a bit of a longer video about the Leo Caligue Pseudo Hosen. It's a little difficult to see in this lighting, but I've got natural lighting and that's pretty much it. So, I want to compare these to kind of the Locust fencing pants from Spess. Let's go over the kind of anatomy of the pseudo hosen real quick. I've got two buttons which secure pseudo hosen closed along with a zipper in the middle, ease of access and all that. The top here is a Velcro strap. Then I've got a buckle here at the waistband. And I've got Velcro down here just above, or just, excuse me, just below the knees. And I've got these zippers on either leg with Velcro straps, or Velcro strips, I should say. Let me actually adjust camera position so we might actually get better lighting. Probably should have started with this. But I've got these. Sorry, the cat's right behind the camera. But I've got these strips of Velcro, and I'm in the middle of a project to uh, actually get some more Velcro and secure some padding in there. They're nice, they're poofy, they look pretty good, and they are historically supposed to be worn with up here at the true waist, not down on your hips. Modern clothing, everything's on or just above the hips and not up your true waist above your hips. This makes it, when it's situated up here, so that my actual, like, your su supposedly wider hips and buttocks uh, actually keep it upright and secure and help with that. Now, I'm a skinny lad in these medium-small uh, pseudohosen, so I sometimes need to retuck. I sometimes need to make sure that I'm tucking my clothes in, like my shirt, uh, but jackets my fencing jackets tend to go over top so they'll obscure the top of the pseudohosen or whatever nevertheless quite good and as you can see i am wearing leggings underneath it yoga pants you know whatever works i've found that my <laughs> wearing leggings or wearing like exercise pants underneath that does tend to help it stay secure both up top <laughs> and down on the knees. I've also got my ribbons of rank in the Meyer for the uh, Meyer Fry Factor Guild, helping secure that on one leg. And now contrasting that, oh, I also have pockets. I've got pretty sizable pockets here and then I've got sizable pockets on the back. So, you know, I've got full storage. Contrast Locust pants have a single Velcro tied back pocket. It's got these kind of overall type straps to secure it that are adjustable. The back strap here on the back of the pseudo hosen is also adjustable. Then they've got elastic bands uh, to go just beneath the knees. And of course, they've got slight adjustable bands on the sides. These ones are still. A little big for me up on the waist, but I've got enough room in the crotch so that I can lunge. And as I demonstrated in my short for the pseudo hosen, I do indeed have room in here to lunge deeply as I need to, or stay in my my Meyer posture. Even. Just keeping it here in a kind of stepped out lunge. But this is also secured up front with Velcro and a zipper. You know this if you know any fencing pants. You know, the vast majority of fencing pants are like this, but it's got the built-in padding. So vices and virtues comparing the pseudo hosen to normal fence fencing pants. I will say this. I appreciate what the pseudo hosen are. I like looking good. I like that I got it in one of my favorite colors, purple. And I like its homage, its very direct inspiration uh, of 16th century German Pluterhosen. 
I like that. I like presenting that. I know there are a couple different people in HEMA who like to do, uh, wear a little bit more, you know, bring, oh, I might be SCA, but I might not, you don't know, uh, sort of statement with their attire. But the simple practicality of normal fencing pants with those padding, those pads built in, that's a huge, huge plus. And the extra labor <laughs> of putting in pads into the hips, eh, it's not terrible, honestly. Like, the big, the big, I would say, plus to this is that I have room to kind of hide knee protectors on the inside. I have a couple buddies at uh, the Sacramento Historical Fencing Academy, uh, which is the main distributor of the Leo Caligue Sudahosen. Um, they do that. Now, my kneecaps are like hard shell on the outside with full shins, so I can't do that as easily. But these Pluterhosen do have the room for internal kneecaps, which is great. I'm not gonna lie, I like having more than one pocket. I like having that front pocket to fit my notebook. You know, I can literally just have my little pocket notebook in here and put the pen right through, and it's all good. I don't like adjusting these, though. I don't like having to re-cinch. I do like that <laughs> These have room in the padding. I don't like that they have, you know, an extra six inches coming off of my belly or whatever. It doesn't look great. Um, but they're both comfortable. And I would say if you want the Pluterhosen, if you want the Pseudo Hosen uh, from Leo Caligue, it can go with any freaking outfit. I have three different jackets that I've worn with this. I have a white sport fencing jacket. I have my black. I'll grab that real quick. I have my thick black pre-padded fencing jacket that I especially use for longsword. And then if you've watched me compete at the Sacramento Historical Fencing Academy in-house, or if you've seen a clips of me sparring, you may have seen me in my purple jacket, my officer's jacket from Spez. I also like that, and it works. It, it works with all three. Part of that is coloration, part of that is style, and part of that is you know, my own personal choice for, for how I want to dress. So, for the Leo Caligue pseudo-hosen versus, uh, shall we say, normal fencing pants, it really depends on what you want to do. Do you want to look good and maybe have to put in some extra padding later, or do you just want to have that padding built in, look normal, uh, you know, look like everybody else, um, but <sighs> do you want to look more historical? That's kind of the clincher for me is I like wearing this for reenactment stuff. I like wearing this when I go to Ren Faire, even when royal purple is, is prohibited. It's like, ah, screw you. <laughs> but, you know, I like getting a little more into the historical stuff and less so into the sport. These are also cheaper, I'm pretty sure. These are cheaper <laughs> to order uh, than most of these uh, Spess pants. Uh, I think there are lighter versions of, that Spess sells that might be cheaper, but I'm not sure. Um, but you know, frankly, I really enjoy these. I like Leo Caligue in general. I like supporting my academy and I like looking historical. And, sorry, the cat's eating more of the curtains and slowly creeping up on the computer. Uh, <laughs> but I really, really enjoy uh, these Pluterhosen, these pseudo Pluterhosen, these nice rich purple that unfortunately just kind of looks bluish gray in this lighting. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I would recommend it. I'm going to put the link down in the description if you want to check out uh, the Pseudohosen from Leo Caligue, sold by the Sacramento Historical Fencing Academy. So, yeah, I'm in Demian for the Jorkid Arms, etc. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you uh, have comments, critiques, suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Uh, thank you. I'm in Demian for the Jorkid Arms, etc. Have a good one, folks.